today uh, we are going to have an introduction about the plastic designs uh, specific to interior exterior trims and automotive applications using KTM. And I'm Vasant. Uh, I have almost 15 plus years of experience over uh, various uh, aspects of automotive, interior, exterior trims, body in white. And I am currently engaged with Gasoft Global, which is an uh, organization who provides engineering services across the globe. Okay, uh, with this introduction, uh, we will get into the topic. So what are the contents that we are going to cover in for today is like, uh, I'll just give an, uh, a brief introduction on uh, what is automotive design process because automotive we know all uh, passenger cars, commercial vehicles, everything falls into automotive and every design has a detailed process and uh, I have uh, almost shrink the process because it's uh, more into technical side of understanding. So this would give you a brief uh, overview on uh, the design process and uh, what uh, we are going to look into uh, more detail is trims, what we call as trims and uh, what it has in relation with automotive. And then we, were, we are going to see uh, there are two types of uh, trims and what it is going to do. And then I'll just give you a, a brief uh, understanding on uh, classes of surfaces and what are the CAD tools or softwares used for it. And what class A surface has relations with the trims. And uh, Further to that, uh, we will see about the CAD softwares, uh, what, what is uh, more flexible towards trims and what are the advantages with uh, specific to KTA, why we have chosen KTA and uh, what is the advantages to it. Uh, with that brief note on all these things, I'll just also touch some uh, understanding on what is plastic design and what that has relations to trims. And finally, we'll see what is this course is all about and uh, what is the potential for it uh, in terms of your uh, global uh, engagement on your career path. Okay, so with this, uh, we'll move to the next slide. And this is one slide uh, where we can talk more into details, but uh, what is automotive design process? Where it starts and where it ends? So it starts with the concepts, what normally the stylist uh, they use for the sketches and uh, from uh, that concepts are uh, drawn into sketches in the paper and how that is uh, converted into a 3D environment. And then uh, I have already talked about class A surface that is in short form it is CAS and uh, that is how it is built. Then further, actually we build the complete uh, data in CAD, 3D CAD environment. And finally this gets into the actual production. So getting into the NPD process, it's new product development process at high level. Uh, the same what is explained over the images is being downstreamed on the process. So the CAS is the initial base for any design to start. And from there, uh, the preliminary design starts. Then we do a preliminary analysis. Uh, then there will be some my modifications onto the style surface that is the CAS. And then we do the detailed design. And then verification, development, proto build, validation, pilot production, and then mass production. This is a, a continuous process where the sketch is converted into an actual production car. And here, uh, what I have highlighted in blue is where uh, is the class A surface uh, aspect. And the other three light blue colors indicates where this course would contribute towards the design uh, process of automotive. So when uh, going through this, pro uh, this course and the learnings, what you're going to get outcome on this would help on these three process where that contributes to the magic portion of your uh, uh, new uh, product development. Okay, uh, with this, uh, we'll move to the next slide. And uh, here, uh, I just would like to touch on uh, what is trims, automotive trims. Automotive means an entire, let's say an example of a passenger car. And in passenger car, there are two major uh, uh, contributors. One is BAW and the other one is trims. BAW is the body in white, which is a metal structure of a, a, a passenger car, which we uh, call it as a monocoque design. Normally it is what is used in the cars. And what is called as trims. Uh, all the aesthetic and the non-visible parts which is used for uh, supporting inside uh, for mounting uh, an instrument panel or a dashboard or a door panel. So there are some parts, whatever you see uh, to the eye inside 
is called interior trims and whatever we you see outside like the front bumper rear bumper and then whatever the claddings on the door and the panels which were used for aesthetics purpose is called as exterior trims and other systems there are plenty of systems as far as i see it's almost to 28 system including electric vehicles on today's world so out of this baw and trims contributes almost to a major portion of an automotive design and here our learnings is getting into trims where uh, this contributes almost to 20 to 30% of your entire product development of automotive uh, segment and with this uh, we'll move for the next slide and this is just an uh, a brief uh, introduction uh, on understanding for you guys what is as interior trims okay the center image replicates uh, the gives information on Uh, the inner view of a car so as i said whatever is on the door instrument panel switch panel consoles and uh, whatever on your seat belt side you could see uh, the plastic trims on that is called as pillar trims and then on your trunk side you have trunk boards then gear knobs on the panels on the console so all these parts are called as uh, interior trims and uh, this course i will take you through and the design of all these uh, various parts Uh, wherein uh, it's not uh, uh, much easy uh, to make a design it's quite complicated and uh, here we would give you almost 70 percentage to 80 percentage on understanding with which you can develop your uh, skills further in getting into an automotive okay uh, now we get into the uh, key part on what is class a surface uh, generally we have plenty of explanations to class a surface but uh, in simple terms we could put this way like uh, the aesthetics which were you see that has uh, a highest quality being uh, defined and uh, this is normally called as a holy grail of uh, surface modeling any car like you see a see get a painted uh, new car out of production or from an uh, dealer point you could see the reflection on the aesthetics of the exterior of the car would be with the highest finest level of quality and that is the same level in which it is designed and that design what we do is called as class a surface and uh, this has quite few informations to get into things but normally this gets with uh, working on with the cas uh, needs some innovative uh, brains behind to doing uh, to do it because this derives from the concept as you would have seen in the first slide the sketch how we convert it so that's why uh, uh, this gets more uh, uh, critical for a design okay now uh, with this introduction we will see what is class a surface and here i have had an image from an uh, autodesk elias is a product uh, where uh, it is used for creation of class a surfaces and uh, here is the image uh, with which uh, your sketch is converted into a 3d surface and that's uh, how it looks it resembles an exactly the car's uh, surface and from here this is only an exterior surface when you take a section over it you will not see anything inside uh, this is just to get the uh, feel of and the design and the style lines whatever over here you see in the centers are called uh, the style lines and this is derived from your sketches so the concepts what is made on the sketches uh, would make you to get into this detailed design and from here each and every part like headlamp area if you see the lamp that portion would be trimmed and given as an input from there the lamp designer works for creation of the lamp uh, similarly they would cut the front uh, fascia area like front bumper uh, the line what you see in the center this portion would be taken out and uh, that would be a uh, front bumper this is only an external surface from here is where the real engineering starts from this surface we need to build all the engineering features and uh, we need to add it so much of uh, details to it to make it to a manufacturable part so that is what we are going to you know, work out over this course and this is an example of an image similarly there will also be an interior surface where you could see the uh, instrument dash dash panel uh, seats belts roof all these things are created as an interior uh, cast so this we call it as exterior cast and similarly we have interior cast so that interior and exterior designers work separately based on uh, this cast as an input 
okay now i think uh, we would see a video and uh, this video is from uh, autodesk alias as i said how the sketch is converted into a classy surface this is just for uh, an understanding on how this is created because this becomes the most critical input for the uh, design so i thought uh, this uh, video would uh, add uh, more value for uh, you guys for understanding so normally uh, you can create uh, the curves from your images and uh, there are three uh, views of an image being put into this uh, autodesk tool and you can create the sketch in the mid plane where you can project it to the sides and uh, from the front view you can match again to the sides and you can turn all this uh, stuffs to bring to the surface and uh, uh, every curves whatever is defined here comes with the class a surface and class a has certain accuracy levels in terms of the surface continuity to have the quality level what we are looking at so here like uh, this is one side surface similarly uh, it would be put into all views and uh, this is uh, this will get generated uh, for creating the entire uh, exterior class a surface what we have seen in the previous slide and uh, this is the work of a stylist uh, who would be uh, more uh, of uh, working with the, uh, this class a level of tools so normally the exterior class a surface uh, is like uh, your left half and the right half is uh, symmetrical so normally they used to create one half of the car and the rest uh, the other half is uh, mirrored so this is like done so that's where uh, when you see from the front of a car or rear or from the top it looks symmetrical between the mid line where you see the red line is the zero of the car and from here you can align it and you can put it on the other half on the symmetry with this you can get this exterior surface and further to this again uh, this is at a high level further there will be refinements to particular portion like the door area like the front fender or the front hood or the lamps whatever it is so this is where uh, autodesk alias tool would help uh, for more uh, closely working with the class a surface because that has more commands in terms of uh, getting the the quality level of the surface okay now we would see uh, what are the softwares that can be used for this class a surface creations uh, most widely used is an autodesk product called alias alias has uh, multiple by products it depends on the applications with which you select the product and this has more uh, closer uh, working on uh, the classic surface this has plenty commands to control your surface and the next uh, uh, product uh, like software which can be used for class a creation is like uh, the catia isom surf it's a product of uh, dazo systems and this also has the same level of uh, commands and uh, tools to create the class a surface and if you have a question like whether the katia or unigraphics uh, cannot build a class a surface yes obviously it can build a surface but it is these are not a dedicated product for class a surface creation because when you work, start working on with the creation of the surface you would find it much more difficult in controlling the uh, continuity for the curves as you see in the previous video there are more uh, sketches or curves in the 3d with which it is being controlled so uh, normally this works on the concept of bezier curve which you would have uh, gone through with your mathematics earlier stages and that's how you create the continuity for this curve so the other cad softwares has this options but very limited whereas autodesk and uh, alias and ketia isom surf you have uh, multiple options and commands to control all these curves and the continuities so this is where uh, your aesthetic comes with the highest quality mm -hmm.